Hey there, all you trailblazing creative minds. Ever felt lost in the world of tech stocks, especially when they become part of your compensation? Trust me, you're not alone. Here on Kokoi AI, I'm here to bridge the gap between the world of design and the enigmatic maze of tech stocks. And if you're asking me, Tiffany, why should I care? Well, I believe creative minds like yours can swiftly transform the world with profound positive impact. And with the help of AI, we'll get there even faster. Now imagine combining all that creative prowess with financial alchemy. Intriguing, isn't it? Let's dive in. In the dynamic tech industry, the way you're compensated isn't always straightforward. Besides your salary, stocks are a major player in the compensation game. Transitioning from a world where human-centered stories take priority to one that's buzzing with business impact, numbers, and financial jargon can be daunting. You might have heard of terms like ESPP, RSUs, ISO, and NSO. Sound confusing? Don't sweat it. By the end of this, you'll be able to navigate through these with ease. At the heart of it, stocks are like design prototypes. They hold potential. And as a company grows, so does the stock's value. But there's a lot of time and work before that prototype becomes real money. In simple terms, a stock represents a piece of company's ownership. As a company is valued more, so is your stock. Investing, it's a schedule for your shares to become yours, typically four years with a one-year cliff before they fully mature. If the stock is at a publicly traded company, you are able to cash in after the stock is matured when there isn't a blackout period. In a privately held company, you would have to wait for a liquidity event like going public or the company getting sold or a tender offer. Let's begin with ESPP. Imagine knowing the artist at a show and getting first dibs on a piece of art at a discount before it's unveiled to the public. That's ESPP for you, a chance to buy company stock at a discounted rate. It's an excellent way to build assets, especially if you're confident about your company's growth trajectory. However, remember the value of stocks can be as unpredictable as the creative process, so there's always a risk involved. So how to navigate this? Allocate wisely and always be aware of your buying limits. Next, let's delve into restricted stock units or RSUs. Consider RSUs as your rainy day reserve. These are company shares gifted to you, but with a catch. They vest or become available after a certain period. It's like sowing the seeds of a plant. You need to wait patiently to reap the benefits. RSUs encourage a long-term commitment to your company. And the best part, there's no upfront payment required. The downside, as soon as they vest, you are on the hook to pay the taxes on these. When I worked at a publicly traded company, this wasn't a problem as the default action was sell to cover, which would sell enough shares to cover the taxes. So you didn't have a huge bill when April comes around. Now for creative risk takers, we have incentive stock options, ISOs, and non-qualified stock options, NSOs. ISOs offer you the option to buy the company stock at a preset strike price with tax benefits if held onto, while NSOs are similar but without the specific tax perks. Both lead to significant financial gains, but they require a strategic mind as the risk and rewards can be substantial. NSOs are subject to AMT tax, which can be substantial if the strike price is much lower than the market value when you exercise the stock. The reason I think of NSOs as a gamble is that if you exercise the stock early, if the company sh allows you to do so, you can save significant on taxes when there is a liquidity event. Also, if you exercise early, you start the clock on long-term capital gains tax, meaning you wouldn't have to wait as long to sell to get long-term capital gains tax. Personal experience has taught me that being informed, strategic, and intuitive about your approach is key. Also, not having a weak stomach as the stock market can change in an instant. When I went from independent design consultant into full-time for a tech company, I did not know much about stocks or how they work. It all seemed like a big gamble, and perhaps my timing was good, or I have rose-colored glasses as I look back, and I wish I joined sooner. The world of stocks, like the world of design, is about taking calculated risks, 
staying informed, and believing in your choices. You should still negotiate for the best salary you can. However, as you progress in your career, more and more of your total compensation is given in stock, which has the potential to skyrocket you into financial freedom. And remember, while these insights are crafted from personal experiences and extensive research, always consult with a financial advisor for your advice tailored to your unique situation. So what's next? Equip yourself with knowledge, dive deeper into each stock type, consult a financial advisor for tailored insights, and align your choices with your goals and your values. Your creative instinct combined with financial wisdom is a powerful duo. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Here's to making informed decisions and painting a prosperous future together.